Hey everyone, this is Nemo. Welcome to another great Presta Shop video. So today we will see how to customize the look of our PDF invoices and all of the other PDFs generated by Presta Shop delivery slips, uh, order return slips, etc. Now, as you might know, uh, the standard look is pretty flat, so uh, it, it's all gray, right? So you might want to customize this look. And it's actually pretty easy to do it in PrestaShop, so we can change uh, the colors and fonts pretty easily. Let's see how to do it. Now I will go to my PrestaShop folder, PDF, and we have two style files here in this folder. So we have invoice style tab, which is used for the normal invoices, order return, and plenty of others actually. And the other is for the delivery slip. So we'll change the invoice one now. And you can see as soon as I, as I open it up, I have some color variables. So I have the header, border, so I can change this to F00, which is a bright red. I can change uh, some text sizes. This is insane, but just it's just to show you. And then we have some CSS. Now, this is fairly easy to change as long as you know um, hex values for uh, colors. But uh, for the styles down here, you need to know CSS. So, so just be aware of what you do. For example, um, if I open up my PDF again, you can see we have uh, some heights for the table heads, uh, a border here, and we can change it. And we can use, for example, 10 pixel border. We can scroll down, change the font weight. So I can leave this bold, use extra bold, etc. There are plenty, plenty of options, really. I don't recommend changing these uh, last classes since these are really uh, helpers, right? So if I save, and I close my invoice and, and I open it up again. So open. And you can see things have changed a bit. This is ridiculous since the texts are too big, but uh, you can see it's, it's really, really easy to change the default style with the simple modifications we made. So we'll go ahead and revert. Now, uh, there is another thing you might want to change. Um, if for any reason you need to adapt the layout to match the shape of special labels that you can peel off uh, the printed page, then you might want to adjust the position of certain elements. This would be uh, fairly easy if it wasn't for the fact that the header, let me open it up again, the invoice header has a fixed height and it's a bit more complicated to change this say uh, here is where the store address should be I didn't write it so if you need your store's address to be uh, lower on the page and include the logo well there is something you can do which is open up the uh, PDF generator controller which is uh, to be found in classes pdf pdf generator dot php which is this file and you have to modify the header method this is a bit more advanced it's not just about css and what you have to do is set a t margin now if i grab this which is another file i modified and add it here now this is how we looked before if i close this and open it again, you can see it's been pushed down. So it's not really complicated, but uh, just be aware of that in case you need to relocate your, um, your addresses and logo. This way, you can now take the logo and add uh, some margin and padding, uh, whatever you need so that it doesn't overlap the addresses. Okay, this is everything for today's quick tip. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.